Fourth wing. What is that? That looks pretty. It's a pretty addition. Why have I never heard of this book? Why have I never seen? Is this like a TikTok book? Uh, it's like fantasy. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> Why are there all these books I've never heard of? A special edition. It's a very beautiful edition, but I've never heard of this. There's many questions to be asked here. Guys, this is not real. Barnes and Noble are shilling out for spots on their top. I'm convinced. What? So, um, uh, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> I filmed that video and I'd never heard of Fourth Wing. And then immediately the next day, I am bombarded for months <laughs> with Fourth Wing everything, okay? Everyone's reading it for Fourth Wing. Everyone's obsessed. Everyone's reading it, right? And for a long time, I've been like, I'm not gonna read it. Right, when these big fantasy releases come out, I usually don't read them. I feel like the closest equivalent we had to this last year was maybe the Atlas Six, and I didn't read that. And I was like, yeah, I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it, I'm not reading it. But then I just started to feel like I was missing out. And then I saw a couple of people who I usually have similar reading takes to love it. So I've decided we're gonna read Fourth Wing. We're gonna read it. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! I'm going into this with like very mixed expectations, right? This has got two, like over 200,000 ratings on Goodreads. It's got a really high rating from what I can remember. Like I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, if that many people are reading it and that many people are enjoying it, there has to be something going on here. But also, uh, this kind of TikTok recommended book I have never really enjoyed. Me and BookTok have very different tastes, okay? We can just, we can just agree to live with that. <laughs> I'm also kind of going into it thinking that I'm just gonna find it a bit meh. I don't think I'm necessarily gonna hate it. I'm kind of going into it thinking like, it's gonna be okay, you know? So we're gonna read Fourth Wing together. I'm gonna take you along with me. I'll probably check in with you about every 100 pages. It is quite long. It's almost 500 pages. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this kind of fantasy isn't really my thing. I don't like Sarah J Maas. I don't like um, From Blood and Ash. I don't like, do you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of the fantasies are being comped to is not a fantasy I enjoy, but I have to know. I have to know what the hype is about. I cannot wait any longer. So let's just get into it and start reading Fourth Wing. Oh my God, I feel like I'm about to throw up. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, I got a hundred pages into Fourth Wing Tuesday night. Right, fine, last thing Tuesday night, too late to film. I was like half asleep. It is now Friday evening, afternoon evening, and I haven't spoken to you. <laughs> I've been putting it off and I don't know why. I don't want to. I've been sitting here for like 40 minutes, not filming out of, I don't know, fear? I actually feel sick. I got a headache at the idea of <laughs> speaking to you about this book. I do not want to comment. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, vague synopsis. Vague synopsis. I've he I'm sure you've heard this book's synopsis many times. Following main character, her mother's like, mm, her mother's someone very important in the country, right? And Girlie was supposed to be a scribe. She trained all these years to be a scribe in the library. And then her mother's like, no bitch, you're gonna be a dragon rider. Cause her dad was like the scribe one and he died. Mom's like, he like to see it, who gives a fuck? So she enters this like academy for the dragon riders that exist. Dragons are a big thing in this war that the country's in. Typical fantasy world, typical fantasy war. Um, <laughs> this book is stupid. It's already annoying me with some of its logic and some of the things that happen, okay? I don't think it's bad. I wanna point that out to you now. I have had no inclination to read it. Like I have had no desire to pick it up, but I don't think it's terrible. There's a scene. <laughs> I don't even want to be seen talking about this. There's a scene, um, you must, if you've watched people review this, I, I haven't watched many people like step-by-step -step review this yet because I wanted to go into it with fairly, you know, once I decided I was reading it, I wanted to not ha have my ideas tainted. But there's a freaking scene where basically this trial that they, they like love people dying in this academy. <laughs> Can my phone shut up? They love people dying, right? So there's a trial right at the start to get into the academy where you have to like walk this tightrope thing and loads of people fall off and die, right? Stupid logic, why? 
Why? Why? Why? <laughs> because okay, a lot okay, of people... I, you know what? I, I, I don't understand I, it. But our main character, in order to get through the stress and like how anxious she is about the situation, she's like, right, I have to calm myself down. What calms me down? Oh yeah, let me recite all of the key information about our world that uh, the reader needs to know because I'm a scholar. And so she's like, the, this place is split into these regions and this, and it's, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? An info dump when faced with death. It is the worst info dump I think I've ever read. I hated it. It made me laugh. Like what? <laughs> but it wasn't like, because it was the basic level info we needed to know about the world. It was like, if I was in that situation, me going, the United, United Kingdom, Kingdom is formed of England, England, Scotland, Wales. Like, if you're a scholar, if you've trained all your life, you'll be thinking like niche facts, like exciting, interesting things, not going tomatoes red. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. And it got me thinking about something I feel like with a lot of modern fantasy series is that I feel like a lot of modern ones feel the need to info dump all of the world and the magic system on you straight away. Old school fantasy series did a good job, for example, of not info dumping everything about the world and the magic system on you in that first book. The world expands, the magic system expands. We learn new things that don't counteract what we knew in the first couple books, but like we get new information. There's this new part of the magic that we didn't know before. And I feel like modern fantasy just wants to fucking cram it all in in the first book. And then all the later books are just storylines whereas i think it's beautiful i love when a book and a magic system expands throughout a series a key example for me of this is the bear and the nightingale a modern example the bear and the nightingale series by Catherine arden that book starts off really tight in just a village and then we move to a city and then we move to a world and the magic keeps expanding and i thought we did such a good job of that and a lot of the modern fantasy that i feel like a lot of people love and pick up you just get all the information crammed into the first book and i just i don't vibe I don't vibe, frankly. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like with this book, I feel like, we're putting it on the head again, no we're not. I feel like the perception of what I've seen, like people so far, either love it and are obsessed with it or hate it and think it's terrible. And I don't necessarily think I'm gonna fall on either side of that. I think this might just be like a meh three star for me. And so I feel like I'm not pleasing anyone. I feel like I'm not praising it and like getting into the hype with everyone. And I feel like I'm not gonna be like critiquing it too, well, I feel like I already am, but like too in depth. I'm just gonna be like, it's fine. And I feel like I'm not pleasing anyone with that perception. I don't know. When I read it, I enjoyed it, but then I've had no desire to pick it up and I think it is stupid. If you're gonna read this, you have to go into it acknowledging that, yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> it's whack a doodle time. It is whack a doodle time. It's stupid. It's stupid. Like, why is, I mean, Everyone kills each other. Like the grad, the, the, <laughs> I can't even speak. The students at the school. Yeah, sometimes in the fighting scenes, they just, they kill each other with no repercussions. Why? Because it increases the stakes of the story. No other reason, no other logical reason for a school, a military school to allow that. Anyways, and there's a love story. There's a love triangle already. Think a la Hunger Games. And uh, I already know who's gonna be the main love story. And I don't think I'm into that. I think I like the other one more. But on a plus side, I can see why people love this because it is nostalgic, right? I feel like I didn't read a lot of those dystopian, I feel like it has a lot of the same tropes as those dystopian Hunger Games Divergent-esque books, but with maybe a dragon fantasy twist. And I can already tell this is gonna be made into a freaking movie. It does do imagery quite well, I think. There was this one scene where like there's a, a dinosaur, a dinosaur, <laughs> a dragon in front of her and it like blows her nostrils and it blows her hair and whatever. And I can just really, that, that scene is so vivid to me. Like I know if it's a film, how they're going to film it. It's going to be a film and it's going to be successful. Like I know it already. It's going to be a film. So I can understand why people like it in that regard. But yeah, let's read another hundred pages, shall we? I'll try and read that tonight, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not desperate to, I don't know. Oh, it's fine. We'll see how we get on. Maybe it'll win me over, but right now I'm just like. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Hello, friends. Um, There's something about when I read a book. <laughs> 
that I'm not having. It makes me ill. I'm fully blaming it on this book. Oh, we've gone red. We've gone red. <laughs> Let's speak to you in two seconds, I've gone red. I've got some kind of sickness bug that started on Monday evening and I was hoping it'd be gone by now. It's like Wednesday evening now and it hasn't gone. And my hay fever has decided to make an appearance just as I've put myself together enough to film for five minutes because I have not been in a state <laughs> conducive to filming. Oh, that's just Tom's um, back massage gun. Ignore that. <laughs> Ignore that. That's suspicious. That's weird. Anyways, I'm 200 pages into Fourth Wing. The first thing we have to talk about is the fact that it's taken me a week to read 100 pages of this. So you can tell I have absolutely no <laughs> desire to read it. When I read it, like when I pick it up and actually read it, I don't hate it, but I, f I, I really do not care about any of this. <laughs> You better f***ing take that back right now. You better f***ing stop, 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 stop right stop. now. I don't know. I'm going to try and make myself care more. I'm going to try and read about 100 pages tonight and hopefully check in with you first thing in the morning. We're going to speed this up because we can't take like five weeks to read this book, which is our current trajectory. Here's the thing. The dragons have just turned up. I don't feel like that's a spoiler. You know the dragons are going to turn up at some point. It's a lot earlier than I thought would happen. We're moving a lot quicker through the plot and through the kind of stages of the book that we've been told would happen. The dragons are fun. Okay, I like the dragons. The dragons are a tick for me. I like the dragons. I will say... It's still pissing me off with how stupid some of this is. She's still world dumping in the, <laughs> in the most stupid, like high pressure situation. She still, you know, takes the time to give us some great info dumping. Thank you. Cause I would be lost without it, obviously. And the author has done something that's pissed me off. Pissed me off, pissed me off. Bear in mind, I have very little tolerance right now. I'm not feeling well. She's done the thing where there's a love triangle, right? But our author is obviously rooting for one person in the love triangle. And so she's made the other guy in the love triangle annoying and stupid and infuriating and irritating. Oh, he gets on my tits, that gazer. We're only 200 pages into the first book. This is gonna be a five book series. How is a love triangle supposed to sustain itself if 200 pages in you have made this guy the most irritating person on the planet? I was rooting for him at the start. I liked the other guy. I could tell that he was not the guy we were gonna go for. We were gonna go for the other guy, okay? Because the other guy had more like fantasy romance tropes about him, you know? But he is just irritating. Every second he is trying to like undermine her and like get her to change her mind about things. And he's just like a little annoying little rat. <laughs> But he was who I was rooting for. And I'm like, why do that? Just don't give me a love triangle then. If you're so set on one person in a love triangle, just like make it a fucking romance with her and him. Why? There is no need for this love triangle. If 200 pages into the first book, you're going to make him so irritating that it's obvious where we're going. Like, oh God. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Um, I think it's quite bad on the whole. But it is, I can understand why people love it because it is easily to, it is easily readable and it's kind of fun, you know, and it's playing up on a lot of what we love about other books. Like I said, it's gonna be a fucking movie, you know, we can we can cast it already. Fan cast it right now. But I'm not loving it, I'm not hating it. It's maybe like I'm probably getting like a three star of enjoyment from it when I'm actually reading it, when I actually force myself to read it. But it's probably on quality like a 2.5 at the moment. So anyways, we'll see how it goes. I'll check with you when I'm 300 pages in. Right, 300 pages into fourth wing. I've taken the dust jacket, dust, dust jacket. Can the car outside stop making noise, please? Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. When you're gonna read a book like this that has been so popular, you have to go into it with a certain mindset. You either have to go into it. I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. <laughs> Genuinely hoping to enjoy it and trying to enjoy it or going into it to read critically and to like come up with clever things to say about it, right? I'm trying to enjoy this. I, it might not seem like it, but I'm really trying to enjoy this. I feel like if I was going in with that critical evaluative mindset, I'd kind of be going in to just hate read it. And that's not what I want to do. I want to love this like everyone else is loving it. Genuinely, when you look at the bar on Goodreads, it's like everyone is giving this five stars. <laughs> We're not going to give it five stars, let me tell you that. I think if you're going to enjoy this, you just have to accept that like the world building you know, you have to buy into it. You have to br believe in the fantasy. You have to suspend your belief, your disbelief, suspend, 
<laughs> you have to suspend logic, right? In all fantasy, when you read a fantasy book, you have to suspend logic because fantasy isn't real. <laughs> but usually I can do that. You know, I love fantasy. But I can't do it when the world building is the stupidest fucking world building ever to exist. Like, there's just so much about this school, this magical death dragon school that makes zero sense. Zero, I can't get over everyone having to die all the time just so that the stakes are raised. It's so... Guys, I, can't, I actually can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> I have been pushed to the limit with this. You know, the writing's not great. The dialogue is pissing me off. There's this one scene where her and this guy were like talking things out. He's been a shit to her. They've been arguing, right? And then they make up. She's like, flashed him a cheeky smile. Uh, firstly, I can never imagine uttering the words like, I give him a cheeky smile. What in the fanfic? Not even good fanfic. What in the shitty fanfic? I give him a, I flash, I turn around and flash him a cheeky smile. It's, I hate it. <laughs> it's so cringe. I don't get it. This is what you guys are obsessed with. This is it. This is it. This is what has everyone in chokehold and like everyone on their knees like praising. I don't understand. I will say it is good to see chronic illness drop in this. The main character has what I believe is Ellis Danlos syndrome or at least very similar uh, traits and symptoms, but I can't obviously speak on whether that is good chronic illness rep or bad chronic illness rep. I just think it's refreshing to see that in a book that is so, you know, wide, re widely read and so popular. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's stop talking about the book and guess, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Come on, baby, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. There's no way I could guess. There's no way I could. I'm gonna go see Barbie. It came out last weekend for me. Um, well, for everyone, but I'm just situating you in time. But last weekend, every single cinema, unless you want to sit on the front row, near me was sold out. Every single showing. Each of them had like 10 showings a day. They were all sold out. Essex is crazy for Barbie, obviously. <laughs> so we're gonna go see Barbie and I'm excited. I'm excited for a bit of respite from Fourth Wing because God knows we need it. <laughs> So I didn't actually film a lot when we went to the cinema. Here's the cinema that <laughs> I spotted a Meg 2 sign. I was like, oh my God, me. So here's a picture of me getting eaten by the shark. <laughs> and then we tried to get some sweets and then went and saw the film. We were running late, okay? <laughs> Barbie was a five star. It was a five star. It was a five star. I think that's the first film I've watched this whole year. <laughs> But I put my pink pyjamas on in solidarity. I'm about to go take my makeup off. It's too late. I'm not going to read any more tonight. But I want to try and finish this tomorrow. In fact, I have to try and finish this tomorrow. I'm not letting it go on any longer. So we've got 200 pages of this to read tomorrow. We're going to do it. So I'll see you in the morning once I've read up to page 400. Um, but yeah, Barbie. That's more fun. It was, they needed it. My brain needed it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. If you haven't seen it yet, I think you should go into it blind. Because there's stuff that I kind of knew about but didn't know about. And um, I just will say I felt particularly called out by, if you've seen it, the Pride and Prejudice reference. Because uh, I love <laughs> Colin Firth's BBC Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> so I'm just going to say that. I felt particularly called out by that because growing up, I always watched that whenever I was sick off school with my mum. Every time without fail. And I still watch it all the time. <laughs> it's probably one of the things in the world I've watched the most. So, um... Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the morning. We have to read. We have to finish this. We have to finish it. We have to be done. Be free. Oh, I just, I look at it and I want to cry. We're almost done. We are almost done. We're almost done. I don't know why I've just put a hoodie on. It's hot. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna get changed out of this after this. But okay, 400 pages in. We're almost at the end. I'm exactly on page 400. This ends on page 498. So we have 98 pages left to read. There's something about the writing that's pissing me off. Okay. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like everything is either terrible, it's like the end of the world, or it's the greatest thing ever. Like a sword has been immaculately crafted, honed to perfection. I'm like everything is onyx eyes it's that kind of writing i don't like it
I don't like it. I think this is why I don't read like other fantasy romance because everything is just kind of like, just the, the phrase onyx eyes, I was ready to square up. Like I'm ready, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it triggers my flight or flight. Flight, fight or flight. <laughs> There's that. And, but there was, we have, it finally got spicy. It finally got spicy. I thought this was more spicy than it has been, but it finally got spicy. It's been a bit saucy. Oh. The, the spicy scenes were okay, you know, they weren't the worst I've ever heard. They were alright, actually. There could be more, I wouldn't be mad if there was more. I feel like maybe this needed more of that, because it just felt like a slug. A slug? Slog. <laughs> slug. Um... <laughs> And some people say they flew through it. At this point, I have been reading this for like almost two weeks. And I don't think I'm gonna continue on with the series. But also there's a part of my brain, it's like sunken cost fallacy. I'm like, I've spent so long with these characters that it's like, when the next book comes out, I'm kind of gonna feel like, oh. Even part of me is like, you know, I could be tempted. <laughs> I like the dragons. The dragons and the spicy scenes are probably my favorite part. But um, it just feels so, Meh. I don't understand why this has you guys by the throat. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not that girl. I'm I'm evidently not that girl. Also, I don't think we need to get into a discussion around... Here's the thing. It's a fantasy world, right? So if I was like, if I was thinking deeply, I could have a discussion around the, some of the discussions we've had in this last 100 pages around killing people and the morality of that in war. And if we want to get into like, a discussion about how I believe the author's a military wife and like, you know, but it's fantasy. So I don't, I don't feel the need to get into discussions around the morality of that and like reading into this. Cause I feel like every fantasy book is kind of like death is just, and killing people is kind of like par for the course. But I can see if someone was reading this with a critical eye, they would point at that and be like, you know, you know, the justification of killing people in war, basically, you know. You could side eye if you want, but it's fantasy, so I don't really feel the need to do that because every fantasy book is like, death is part of the course. So anyways, I'm gonna go finish it. Wish me luck. Um, I, I almost don't wanna put this video out because I'm scared people are gonna be really mad at me. <laughs> Well, we finished. <laughs> Are we ready? We're ready. I'm gonna give it two stars. <laughs> two stars. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Now I just wanna say, if you loved this, you can leave. You can leave. <laughs> you don't need to listen to what I have to say. The last 100 pages of this made me realize, like, this book actually has nothing moving the plot forward, right? There is nothing that is exciting about what is happening. The whole book is just her going to this dragon riding school and we're just moving from challenge to challenge, from obstacle to obstacle, basically wondering whether she can like overcome that challenge, but knowing that she probably will because she is the protagonist of this book. <laughs> if she doesn't overcome it, it won't be like fucking world ending. Do you know what I mean? There is nothing, there's no intrigue, there's no, you know, every book has a mystery or should really have a mystery at the core of it that we are unpacking. Well, not every book, you know, but like every, I think, commercial fiction book, let's say, will have something that is moving the plot forward. And it's, it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that. Okay, I'm, this, is the, this is the bottom line. Everybody was thinking it. I just said it. So we're giving it two stars. The one added star from a one star is because it's not the worst thing in the world and I can understand why other people like it. Even though I'm dunking on it and I'm giving it two stars, I can understand why a lot of people enjoy it. Not why so many people enjoy it, and to that extent. Now I do have to say, there's a little twist at the end on that last page, and they got me. They kind of got me, because I was like, oh, you know, oh, um, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. It's like me in this book. I hated it. It's held me hostage for two weeks. But like, the thing happened at the end, I was like, ah, uh, Maybe I could read the second one. <laughs> I'm not gonna add it to my series spreadsheet, but I, if a video, if you guys wanted me to read the second one for a video, or a video came up where I had to read it, I would not, like I'd be up for it. This isn't fun, why am I doing, but I feel like, yeah, I'd be up for doing that again, even though I didn't enjoy this. I don't know what's wrong with me. What is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this girl? Everyone else loves it. 
I kind of knew going into it that it wasn't necessarily going to be my thing. It was alright. Was it? It was two stars. <laughs> I've tried to make this as spoiler free as possible for those of you who haven't read this. I could make this video like three hours long if we sat down and just went through every ridiculous thing that happened in this book. Like it is stupid. The plot is stupid. The world building is stupid. The rules are stupid. The insta love is stupid. Everything in it is stupid, right? We could go through example. Someone's probably already done that. We could go through example after example and we would be here for hours. Like I don't know how to explain enough to you how many lines there were that made me roll my eyes and how stupid, like it makes no sense. <laughs> There's so many plot holes. This is like fucking holy cheese. Do you know what I mean? It's just, don't know where to begin, but I've read it and now I know what all the hype is about. And I, you know, I, sometimes I question whether you're all okay. And then I realize, no, you're not. <laughs> so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed watching me read this. The wind just made my door shut and I'm home alone. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I hope you enjoyed watching me read this. Please let me know what you thought of Fourth Wing because I know I'm in the minority by not loving it. So if you've read it, please let me know. If you got into the end, comment a dragon emoji. I mean, we're here. I love the dragons. I will say that. I loved the dragons, but it was a two star. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.